A mass flu vaccination programme will get underway early this year, ahead of the coming flu season. The government is concerned the health system might not be able to cope with the added burden of COVID-19. So the government is promising 400,000 more vaccines will be made available for certain groups, including people over 65, pregnant women, people with certain chronic conditions and young children with a severe respiratory illness. Healthcare workers will also be given a free vaccine. But questions remain as to whether the there will be enough for everyone else. Associate Health Minister Julianne Genta spoke to our reporter Logan Church in Wellington. The government has announced today that it's bringing forward the flu vaccination campaign and the really important message is that for the next four weeks we want to prioritise the people who are most vulnerable to being really sick and hospitalised by the flu and our frontline health workers. We have a record number of flu vaccines this year. Uh, we have ordered an additional 30% on last year which was already a record number. And what is that number? Is that, I think it's 400,000, is that correct? We have an additional 400,000 vaccines this year so that brings it to 1.7 oh sorry <laughs> yeah that brings it to 1.768 million okay so when were they ordered uh, the main order for the flu vaccine happens in October and so we had ordered an additional um, 100,000 in October, but as soon as the COVID-19 situation became available, Pharmac quickly snapped up in 300,000 more and they're still looking. Are they here now? Uh, my understanding is there's quite a few that are already here. I don't know if the full order is here, but um, hundreds of thousands have already been distributed across the country as of yesterday. Okay, so how many were actually administered in the last flu season? Um, in the last flu season, I know that we had about 1.2 uh, million, but um, I couldn't tell you exact if all of them were administered. Okay, so then who takes priority this flu season then? Well, um, the funding eligibility is the same as it has been for previous seasons and in the next four weeks we really want to push out and target those funded populations. They are the most at risk of being severely sick or being hospitalised with the flu. We want to reduce flu hospitalisations and incidents so that our health system can cope with COVID-19. Um, the people who are funded are those over the age of 65 and people under the age of 65 who have heart disease, diabetes, cancer if it's not contraindicated, um, autoimmune disease, HIV, cochlear implants, Down syndrome and if you're being treated with preventative therapy for asthma, pregnant people as well. How many people are in that age group? Do you have some numbers on that? Um, and the vulnerable people is about one million New Zealanders who are funded to receive this and frontline health workers are an additional 200,000. Okay, so that's 1.2 million, yet only 400,000 more vaccines? Um, well, those people haven't all been vaccinated in previous years. We, of course, we would have a target of 100% um, take up, but last year it was about a quarter of pregnant women received it and about 62% of people over the age of 65. So are you confident there is enough now in the country then? Um, I am confident that we have a record number of flu vaccines and we are doing everything we can to ensure that the people most vulnerable to the flu are going to get that vaccine in the next four weeks. So what happens to people not in that age, uh, in those age brackets and those vulnerable groups that you mentioned before, say 30 to 50 year olds who are perfectly healthy, are they back in the queue? Um, we're asking people like myself, who are not in that target group, to wait until after the 13th of April to get your flu vaccine. This is still well ahead of when the flu season usually starts in New Zealand, which is in June, July. So what happens if we need more? You said before you are confident there was a record number of, of vaccines in the country, but you, you wouldn't say if you're confident there was enough. So what happens if we need more? Well, we do have 30% more than we had last year and that's more than we've had in previous years. So I do expect demand for vaccines to increase. People are particularly health conscious right now um, and Pharmac is currently doing everything they can to source additional flu vaccine if it's needed. And that's the Associate Health Minister Julianne Genta.